The battle over how to safely return to in-person learning continues. As the union continues to push for vaccines, Governor Baker visited a school that's been in class all year long this school year. WBZ's Lisa Greshi was there. We opened our doors 200 days ago. We have not lost a day to COVID. A water valve and a snow day? Yes. And COVID? No. It's something the St. Mary's School is taking great pride in. It is the young people that have followed the rules, that have kept us open. The governor toured the building, new wing and all, greeting students masked up and socially distanced. What the past year has meant to you, and um, good or bad, with respect to um, what you were hoping to get out of your educational experience. For me, the past 365 days have been a learning experience, personally. Getting to come to school every day has actually really been so, such a blessing, like in every way possible. The follow-up question, how are the masks? It's to the point where I don't even notice that my friends are wearing masks anymore. Sometimes I forget what people look like underneath <laughs> the masks. This, as the teachers union, backed by nearly 50 lawmakers, is proposing its own plan to get educators vaccinated. They're asking for some of the doses already designated for educators at the mass vaccination sites to be sent to local communities instead. The governor believes this would take away from the most vulnerable populations and slow the whole process down. Also standing by his belief, school buildings will be safe enough. Back at the beginning of all this, one of the questions people had was, will kids comply with wearing a mask? Will kids be willing to socially distance? Will kids be willing to do all these things? And the answer overwhelmingly is yes, because they want to be here. In a statement, the teachers union said in part, it is sad and reckless. The governor is seemingly pitting one vulnerable group against another. An advisor to the governor urging them to do the math. The state does not have the supply to meet the demand. Reporting in Lynn, Lisa Grashi, WBZ News.